It's now for time for the final step of making your movie, which is to add the voiceover, sound effects, and music. Open up iMovie and create a new project by hitting this big plus. You want movie, not trailer, but movie. And then it will open up your camera roll and you're going to select the video that you have saved from the Stop Animation app. Remember I told you you had to save that in your camera roll, so it should be there. If it's not, go back and save it from your camera roll. Then you'll hit Create Movie. Now I suggest looking at it again carefully, and then you can go up to the right-hand side um, where it says audio. So it'll say movie, it'll say audio, and you want the little audio button. See how it's highlighted blue right now? And pick out one of the tracks here. Now fortunately, all the tracks are around one minute and your video should be about one minute. You can test them out if you'd like to. Then you can go to sound effects and I'm just gonna scroll through real quick to see what kind of sound effects there are and see if there are any that you would like to add. You don't have to add sound effects, but they're available. All right, so I think I found one that would work, and that's the Boing, and there it is. So I just touch it, and it pops it into place. There, that was fun. All right, the other one that I wanted to use was the cricket sound, so I'm going to go to where I want the cricket sound, um, place my video in that spot, and then click crickets. So as you just heard, the cricket sound is there now. You can also select your sound effect if it's too loud or too soft and change the volume of an individual sound effect. All right, after testing that, now ready to start recording my voiceover. To record the voiceover, you click the little microphone and I'll highlight that right there. See, highlighted in red in the left hand side. Click on that. And then you have to actually click record to start recording and I will count it down. Now my screencast isn't, um, isn't projecting my voice, but you can see how I am uh, dictating, I am narrating right now with my little moving green lines there. You want to make sure that you stay in the green. You get into the red and the yellow, uh, it starts to get, uh, the microphone starts to get very hummy and weird. So keep your voice um, in the green there as you're recording. All right, here in just a second, we will um, take a look at what the final product looks like. And um, you'll be able to see how I put it all together there. Once you are totally done, um, you hit done uh, or stop, and then you have to make sure that you hit accept there. Uh, otherwise, it won't save, so make sure you accept that recording. Great. So now I have all my recordings done, my music in place, my sound effects. It's set and ready to get turned in. Add the title, and you can try to talk the title in, but dictation is always weird. So I'm just going to go back and type it in, the tortoise and the hare. There we go. The tortoise and the hare. Right. Then you're going to hit that send button at the bottom there. And you're going to save to camera roll and as a large file. Save it to photos as a large file. After that exports to your camera roll. See, there you go. You can now turn it in um, to Google Classroom or airdropping it to the teacher's Mac or however uh, you're instructed to turn it in. All right, let's take a look at the final and see how it's all put together. Upon a time, the tortoise and the hare were having a conversation and the tortoise bet the hare that he could win in a race. The hare thought this was ridiculous but agreed and so the bet was set that they would start racing and they would race down the path, around the bend, touch the tree, and back to the start of the path. On your marks, get set, go! And the rabbit raced off as fast as he could. He was so fast, way, way ahead of the tortoise. He was so far ahead of the tortoise 
that he got bored and fell asleep waiting because he was like whatever i got so much time i could take a nap the tortoise however slow but steady kept going past the hare and when the hare realized what had happened it was too late the moral of the story is slow but steady wins the race <laughs>